Check out these huge waves at the, Ava, at the Avon Beach in North Carolina. Look at this. Hurricane Aaron is churning up the Atlantic, and you can see it right there. The storm threatening the East Coast with coastal flooding and life-threatening rip currents. However, it is not making landfall pretty much anywhere. We're not expecting any impacts to our area specifically. Uh, yeah, but we could see an uptick in showers over the next few days. Yes. Chief Meteorologist Chris Franklin joining us now with more details on that. How much rain are we expecting, Chris? Next couple of days, we'll definitely see an increase in our rain chances. Back to Hurricane Aaron, though. It is almost 300 miles away from Cape Hatteras, but you could see see what the coastal conditions are like there in North Carolina, and it will continue to be fairly beaten with the high surf through tomorrow as the storm kind of eventually passes just near the coastline and then starting to move away by Friday and on into the weekend. Look at the wave height around the center radar. Excuse me, the computer estimates at about near 40 feet and certainly confirming not too far away from the center of buoy showing 30 foot wave heights. As far as the wind field goes, it has increased. The storm size has increased and we could see near tropical storm force winds through the Cape and most of the Outer Banks through Cape Hatteras and most of the Outer Banks through tomorrow morning and into the early part of the day. Even parts of Massachusetts could be clipped by some of those tropical storm force winds as the wind field further expands even parts of Newfoundland into Canada by Saturday before moving out into the North Atlantic. Couple of other areas in the tropics to watch two little waves in the Central Atlantic we'll talk more about and our rain chances coming up. All right, Chris, thank you so much.